today's video we are going to test the wild badger snowblower that was sent to me a few videos ago i made a, a unboxing of this snowblower and we finally got some snow as you can see so we're going to test three things the first thing how long the battery will last now i have a four car uh driveway here but as you can see there's a dumpster in it because i'm redoing my basement so unfortunately we're only going to be able to do one side but we will finish on my neighbors if i have battery the second test if this is light enough to carry up the steps and do my sidewalk and the third test is this strong enough to throw the snow now those are in no particular order obviously we're going to check the battery at the end <laughs> All right, we're going to pop this battery in. This is what you do right here. This is the working uh, side. And then you actually have a storage side if you want to put another battery in there. So we're in. We got the chute raised all the way up, and we're going to kind of go along this wall here. At the end of this video, I will be going over a few key features about the difference between a gas snowblower and a battery powered snowblower. This is a little safety switch and I absolutely love uh, this handle. Makes life real easy. Now let's see if it's light enough to carry you up the side of Or up my steps, I should say. So we know it's light enough to carry up steps. Now we're gonna uh, finish off my sidewalk here. Safety. <laughs>
the steps and we are going to go to my neighbors to finish off and see what the battery life does. Here we go. Now there was a video I made of how to snow blow your driveway and we're gonna do this driveway like that where I never have to move to the chute. So here we go. Let's do another neighbor's driveway. Should we do another one? Let's do one more.
see the check is battery on. Let's do the street on our way back. This is some slush here. see and you look at me covered in snow we did one two car another two car driveway a third two car driveway and by the eight car driveway and then we started doing the street and it shut off so I'm guessing that the battery's dead so let's take a look at it yes it's blinking so we got one bar. Let's see, so you can see that. Okay, like promised, I'm gonna go over a few features. Now you just see me use one four amp hour battery on four driveways, and one driveway was pretty big. It was about a six car driveway before this snowblower battery died. So for the homeowner, how can you beat that? Um, this covers about 12 inches deep of snow. We probably had three inches in some areas, four inches maybe in a few others, and it did just fine. Now, one difference between battery and gas, you don't have to pull a cord like you do on a gas one, but I know there's electric start, but then you have to deal with a battery. This is lighter than a gas snowblower. This snowblower doesn't have gas, oil, belts to deal with, so there's virtually no maintenance. So for the homeowner, this is a no-brainer. I can do my driveway probably three or four times before I would need to charge my battery. Now down below in the description, there's going to be a, a few links. One of them is going to be this snowblower. So if you're interested in purchasing the snowblower, the link is down below. Like always, I hope this video helped you out. Do me a favor, hit that like so more people can see it. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. And do me a favor and check out one of these videos that pop up here. You got about three seconds. Three, two, one.